Hey guys, this is Lungaya, and welcome back to Grim, the Golden Goose. Let's make stuff dirty. Dimwit finally gets married to the princess. Yuck. How about we bring our Golden Goose back? And maybe change his name. Goosezilla, that suits him. What a creature. Oh, divine duck, you're an inspiration. Now fly away, wreak havoc another day. Make it rancid. Oh no, there's wind. Don't you just love it? Do not have the patience for this today. Okay. So not patient enough today. Okay. I'll just wait until the wind goes. So otherwise it's gonna fuck me over anyway. Trust that when the wind blows, that thing is not moving more. Is it over? <gasps> what the fuck is that? Don't delay. It's like but a stop bitch, bitch ass bird in the middle. What the hell? <laughs> Jeez. I didn't mean the goose. Okay. Set course. Second star on the left. We'll save Get it until we find some pile of cuteness that needs to be set right. Perhaps Yoshi's island is on our road. We'll find it there for too long. <laughs> well, again, that's some angry goose, man. Jeez. Okay. Now. 
now the story has a shape I can relate to. The unanswered, unpleasant, or unspoken questions have a voice. Nobody gets to be as lucky as Dimwit without some practice. Sure, he had some help, but he knows how to beat the devil. Failing to motivate his sons with words, father encourages them to become useful family members by other means. Come back without wood again and there'll be no meat or pudding for you. Lazy meander and sod, and take Dimwit to... As if our work wasn't hard enough, you useless waste of a functioning anus. We have to watch this daydreaming imbecile? Certain amount of family strife promotes economic imagination and inventive use of vulgar insults. Once in the woods, a mean-spirited dwarf accosts the brothers. Give us a kiss and half your food and nobody gets hurt. Match? <laughs> Blow it out your back end, you oversized lawn ornament. Hear that suffering? That's my work. I'm good at it. <laughs> now give me your food. I would have shared. Why would you harm me? I've done nothing to you. It's my job. Blame the boss. Here now, boy. Don't be naive. I'm sorry. Almost. Cut down the most crooked tree and you'll find a nice surprise. <laughs> Help us, Dimwit! I've severed my arm, and Best Boy's cut off his leg! I'd love to, bro, but I've got other business. Uh. Uh, this looks like the one. <laughs> Hello there. You ought to be worth something. He heads for town, a changed man, looking for the main chance. Uh-oh, several people sticking fast to feathers, while seemingly a stretch, makes perfect sense if the goose is in fact a huge leper ball of death 5,000 in disguise. That little guy wasn't kidding when he said Dimwit would find a surprise. <laughs> Father, that's the funniest thing I've ever seen. And a swell population control device. I want to marry that guy and have his children. Mm, well, will a misbegotten oaf like him appreciate your unique sense of humor? I'll test him. You, dimwit, empty my wine cellar in one city, eat a mountain of bread, and bring me a ship that sails on sea and land, and you can marry my daughter. No problem, Your Honor. Does she come with a good dowry? Surprised he didn't ask if she was a virgin, but off he goes to find a practiced tippler whose capacity can empty the king's wine cellar. Perhaps you could get me a life preserver. I'd like to have a short kip before I consume the next 50 hogs head of the vino. Nice nose on it, by the way. Nice nose on you, if I do so. But get the life jacket. Get busy or you'll drown. I need you to drink faster so I can move on. Well, we know he's short in the brains department, and it turns out he doesn't have much of a heart either. It took some effort for me to find you, fatso, so don't disappoint. Open that big mouth and pack it in, quickly. <laughs> Just big bone. But if speed is of the essence, I can pick up the pace, so to speak. <laughs> Ew, that was a gingerbread family. Rest in peace. Where did that malevolent dwarf find all these outsized appetites? He's my kind of guy. Drinking and eating accomplished, the ship is everything it should be. Dimwit delivered on all counts. The crew looks familiar. Hmm. Nice wedding, Dad. By the way, are you going to die soon? That would be convenient. I'd like to be king. Or would I be queen? We could trade every other year. Should my legacy be that I allowed my lunatic daughter, her idiot paramour, and their evil spawn to ruin the kingdom? No. Better the royal family should perish. Let someone else begin again. Bring out the goose! Oh, be still, my heart. Those swabbies are pirates! I could only hope. And Dimwit, oh yes, he is well and justly named. Logic is served, even if it doesn't taste so good. Whoa! Who saw that coming? The golden goose returns and earns its fame. Scuttles a wedding, destroys everything and anyone in its path. Sinks a ship! Mission accomplished! 
doesn't get much better than that. May all our stories end so well. Until next time. Bye. <laughs> well, guys, hope you enjoyed. Uh, leave a like if you did. And see you guys on the next video. Bye.